Hey guys, it's Ramal London and this is Meet the Ada Banjos, The Road to Theatre. If you didn't know, Meet the Ada Banjos is going to be live in theatre July 13th and 14th. It's going to be a madness. You need to be there. So we're going to prepare you by going inside and having a look around, meeting the producers, the staff, and you get to spend some quality time with me. I hope you're ready. Let's go. Stage with the lovely Carmel Adekoya, who is the front of house manager at the Catford Broadway Theatre. How are you doing? I'm all right, thank you. How are you? I'm very well. Now, I came in here and I was literally in awe at the history. I'm seeing so many people, so many faces, posters going back how many years. Now, I'm so happy to say that Meet the Ada Banjo is going to be part of history. So how are, is everyone here preparing for it? Well, we're all really, really excited about having Meet the Ada Banjos here because for us, we see that there is a lot of interest now in African theatre and particularly in this type of Nigerian theatre. And we think this is going to be huge. So we want all of the Nigerian community to come down to Catford Broadway and support Meet the Ada Banjos here at the theatre. It's going to be a brilliant weekend. Bye, yo. How could you believe he could win any money playing a computer game? I thought you had changed. Check me out. <laughs> Check me out. Hmm. Thank you, Gladi, for your prayers. I passed my test with flying colors. Huh? Really? Uh, how, are you sure? I am now the proud owner of a UK driving license. Auntie, mm -hmm. how the heck did the examiner Pass you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <sighs> funke, funke. So take care now. Oh, yes. It was a pleasure. <laughs> Make sure you call me. Uh. I call you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I catch mm -hmm. it. <laughs> <laughs> it is not how you drive it, it is how you oh, shake it. <laughs> <laughs> Little Birdie told me that this is the first full-blown Nigerian theatre production. Like, that's big stuff. So is Catford Theatre excited like we are as well? Well, we're really excited about having this here, and particularly me, because I'm married to a Nigerian. Yay! So, yeah, so I'm really excited to see all my family um, come and get involved in this. And I can promise you that if you come down to Catford Theatre um, to see Meet the Adibanjos, we'll give you a really good Nigerian welcome. I love that. Are you going to be in traditional? Because I might be wearing a traditional. Well, you know, I have got a lovely blue traditional costume, so we'll see what I turn up in on the night. But I might knock up a bit of jollof rice or something. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Carmel. Can I come round to your house, please? <laughs> <laughs> My mother-in-law taught me to make it, so it's pretty good. I love that. I love that. You've made me even more excited about July 13th and 14th. <laughs> we think it's going to be brilliant. And it's, it is a new thing. This type of African theatre is a new thing. And there is a lot of interest in it. So I think it will be a busy weekend. So if you are planning on coming down, don't leave it till the last minute. Book your tickets. Get in there and um, have a really, really good time. Thank you. I'm sure everyone is doing that right now. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Thank you. <laughs> Pastor, <laughs> if you can help me get this job, <laughs> if you can help me, <laughs> I will start paying her tithes. Ah, you should have said. <laughs> 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 oh, Sister oh, oh, that's me. Sister <laughs> that's me. Number one in Number the Number one. There's the only job. one like you. Only one. I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe there's something I can do. Oh, I very can good. Ask her. Thank you, thank but you. But I uh, remember. Mm. The last time I helped you get this uh, housing job, huh? I did not see, a, the church did not see a single penny. <laughs> pastor, they say that uh, patience is a virtue. And your pastor is patiently waiting for his Maybach mm. instead of riding around in this, in this oyster cart. Pastor, <laughs> mark my words. I am marking. Mark my words. I will, I will mark it. This time, I, I will pay. Okay, let's get down to business. Okay. What will be your pledge of free? Ten pounds a month. Ten pounds a month. Yes. Ah, will you insult the Lord? No. Eh? Ten pounds. Look how the Lord has blessed you with these fine clothes. Ah, thank you. 
with his fine wife. Thank you very much. Eh? Your wife is fine, though. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> with his beautiful wife. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> with some beautiful children. We, we, we praise the Lord. Come on, let's be serious. Uh, what will be your real place? Uh, 55 pounds, 99 pence. That's not enough, brother. <laughs> Come on, say 500. 500? <laughs> if you, you want to kill me, Pastor. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> I should have bought a Honda. I should have bought a Honda. Are you okay? What about you? I feel the spirit. Where? In this house? In this house. Where? From the east to the west. From Peckham High Street to your living room. Brother Bayo, do you want to be blessed? I want to be blessed. Kneel down, Brother Bayo. Brother Bayo, kneel. Brother Bayo, do you want to be blessed? Yes, Say, I want to be blessed. I need money. I mean, I need 500 pounds. 500 pounds. 500 pounds. 100 pounds. 350 pounds. 100 pounds. Going once. I have to pay water rate. Going twice. Electricity. Going three times. Going three times. Going thrice. 200 pounds. I will take it. I just met Carmel, who told me she's currently preparing a big pot of jell rice for all of you guys for the 13th and 14th. So I think it's time we go and see where the magic's going to happen. Everyone's excited, I'm excited, and the producer's in there directing and producing. So let's go. Hey, I done talking. I walk tall when I'm walking. When I put in, I put tall in. No procrastination, no stalling. Hey, my goal, I'm stalking. I would love it to win, so I'm grafting. See, I'm taking the crown, I'm not asking. Cause the nail's a dog and I'm barking. It's been a little while, but I'm not going to do it. Cut the roots, ladies and gentlemen. Leave the air in the bedroom. Let the ravers dim to screaming, nothing in your home. It's all I want to show. Oh, I'm an African warrior. Hey, rolling with my stick in my hand. I'm an African warrior. I have the pleasure of meeting and greeting the lovely Deborah Odotuyo. Did I say it right? Yeah, you tried, you tried, you tried. <laughs> London born, but I'm going to try and keep to my Nigerian roots. Yes. So, most importantly, I want to know how did Meet the Adabanjos start? Wow. Um, <laughs> I mean, to be honest with you, Meet the Adabanjos just started from me thinking about what would be funny or what is funny for my household and looking at my characters within my household and thinking you know what it's time to see like a Nigerian family like we've seen Desmond's we've seen um you know different sorts of, of families but we haven't seen the Nigeria co -co 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 -co. <laughs> as in seriously like the true Nigerian family so I was like you know let's do something different let's show a Nigerian family and the comedy that comes from that. Auntie mm -hmm. are you wearing that? You don't know me. I will wear it. And when I wear it, I will wiggle like this. <laughs> 17, 18, 19, bo -bo. 17, 18, 19, bo -bo. <laughs> I'll find myself a husband. <laughs> but auntie, Love. this is a size 12. And mm. you're a size... <laughs> Look in your lip. You don't know anything about fashion. Look, you wear small sizes to tuck you in. Oh, you bulldoze out. <laughs> Why don't you wear a size 18 or at least something you can fit into? Look, if you wear a size 18, it is a slippery slope <laughs> to size 26. How has it come to the stage now as well? This is the best bit. We get to see the characters live and direct. Do you know what, yeah? Seriously, the way it came to the stage <laughs> is because of that auntie. And that ankle that says, when is me the Adebanjo is going to be live? You guys should do this live. That's how it started, right? But for me, like, when we, even when we were filming, we, on set, people were laughing. Like, the crew, they could not keep a straight face. Everybody was laughing on set. So we kind of knew that it would work well live. You're an amazing person for doing that. So your producer, mm -hmm. director, mm -hmm. writer. Mm -hmm. 
it? What else? What else have you done? Well, you know, and I can also fry, plant it, do moi moi, you know, I can braid hair. Shock. Am I here to see me? Eh? Lazy. Me. Your father. That line though, Bio. Um, that lazy line, you got like basically, you know that you didn't carry him for nine long months, so you got oh, yeah. to deliver that line like, me, lazy, du -du 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 -du. me, lazy, du -du 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 -du. me, lazy, du -du 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 -du. I'm really shy. And <laughs> I've just, um, I don't know if I have, I have to build myself up, I have to build up my character, and it, it's, it's, um, I don't think I can do it. <laughs> Mom, I love you. <laughs> This is Pastor Mike. Explain, what explain say? about your role and what. Well, you know, in the life of every ministry, you always need a man of God. Because in order for the ministry to move forward, you need a man to push it forward. Pounds, 500, pounds, 500 pounds, 100, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300, 300. I mean, you can stand in front of the ministry and push the ministry. <laughs> I am pulling and pushing. <laughs> That's my role. I'm doing an interview. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, what I'm doing today is um, I'm in the scene where I enter the uh, Adibanjo's house or Adibango, Adibongo house. Andy, about that 10 pounds you owe me. Where's my money? <laughs> that 10 pounds. <laughs> my brother, I owe you no. Hi, so, um, so, 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 so I enter. About your character. Right, my character is a, is, a, is a fake pastor, isn't it? So, you know, he, he really, he's trying really hard to, to imitate. Um, his his main um, well his leader Pastor Graham. Stick around, see some more. It's gonna be some amazing stuff. Watch out. Pastor, uh -huh. they say patience is ever true. And your pastor mm. is patiently waiting for his neighbor yeah. instead of riding on on his oyster car. Yeah. Eh? Here come the pastor. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, come yeah. on. Take it to the this. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. All in the name of MJ. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll start sweating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it's the anointing. They will see it. <laughs> if you, you want to kill me, Pastor. <laughs> I should have already honed that. I should have already honed that. Are you okay? I feel the spirit. Where? In this house? In this house. Where? From the east to the west. From Peckham High Street to your living room. Hey, we do Beyonce. Okay. No, my passport, oh. please, don't embarrass me like that. <laughs> bio is not as energetic, by the way. No, it's not. It's, it's not bio. Oh, bio. bio. Like, text duplex. Gary <laughs> Berlin. <laughs> Some people define time oh, as, as Rolex. Oh, okay. But I define time as time. <laughs> I know some of you cannot get it. But today, there is two people watching this screen right now, and you are wearing a pink shirt, and I want you to know that time is on your side. You thought you were not going to make it at the bus stop, and your bus was going to be late, but my brother, I have got the London Transport timetable, and I want to tell you that your bus is coming at the correct time. It may take long, but it will be ready at the right time. We are going to be back after these messages. How was, how was your performance on, 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 on the well, well, we does this, innit? You get me? Okay. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I came in, I came, I saw, I conquered, saw that concert. No, 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 it was cool, man. It was fun. Didn't have any problems. I thought I would have a lot of problems. <clears throat> I need to go in the light, innit? Because I'm not as light skinned as I used to be, innit? <laughs> but hopefully, you can see me now, innit? See all of me. All of me, you know. No, watch this, yeah. All the man them in Hackney, yeah. When you see me like this, like wearing brown right, shoes, ten minutes. with like a blue suit, yeah. It's not even blue, you know. It's got different colours. It matches with anything. If I look that way, you see a different colour. If I look that way, you see a different colour. But now it's been a wonderful day. Came, I did my lines, kept to the script. First time, 
and we does this baby profession this is not for Peckham I'm not putting peas out for Peckham it's for professional you get me peace out a town down Abuja Accra ripping Africa Caribbean America Jamaica all day see it all right peace but me and the banjo it's just about life it's that auntie that uncle the the son the daughter they can all relate to it because they've all gone through the same experience as me and the banjos you've gone through experience where you got beaten at home balance koboko time friend or your partner forgetting your anniversary you've gone through these experiences these are just life experiences oh. that we're bringing to the stage the c crazy cousin as well or uncle that you the one that was, you, you, the, the you, one you're trying to avoid no no the one that you know when your parents are around he's like the best kid ever hey, yes sir yes sir yes sir when your parents are going hey man who's that fine shorty over there man who's that who's that your friend <laughs> you know the one that's always hitting on your friend this friend of yours she's so fine i mean her eyes are like diamonds she's just so juicy you got to hook a cousin up man ah so now you need my help well, the answer is no, Femi. You can't be moving to my friends. You can't be embarrassing me like that. <laughs> my bestest cause is shoddy. <clears throat> you see, I beg now. She's single. I'm single. We can't be single together. Eh? Yeah. Look, Femi, she would never go for anyone like you. Come on, Monica. <laughs> Monica. Whatever you liked about Meet the Other Banjos in the TV series, we're bringing that straight to audience in theatre. They can interact and they can see. We're even giving opportunities to um, special ticket holders a chance to meet the cast at the end. So what can people expect when they get in here in the building? Okay. Well, first and foremost, what people can expect is comedy. Seriously? You better just prepare, massage your jaw before <laughs> you come. Seriously, because you will be laughing. And I don't care who you are. I don't care how old you are, whether you could be five or you could be 50 or you could be 80 or you could be 90, you will be laughing. That is the main goal. You're going to be laughing. It's going to be a great event. We're going to have, we've got so many different organizations, so many people coming together, working for this. Um, it's going to be big, you know what I mean? Not only that, we're also offering with High TV the chance for lucky viewers to win a chance to feature in the theater. Oh, forget the viewers. What about me? Can I feature? Uh, you need to know how to act. Ah, what's going on? It's your honorable pastor, bishop, archbishop, pope, pastor Michael. It is I here. I just want to tell you, I'm looking for new membership in my church. I'm looking for some strong praise and worshipers. People who can pray, people who can lift the mountains, people who can scream, people who can dance, people who can do the azonto. If you want to be part of my church membership to join the prayer meeting squad, please contact High TV's Facebook group. It's so easy. Just go on the Facebook. If you have internet, if you don't, I'll pray for you that you have some. Go on the internet, Facebook. Eh? Join the High TV Road to Theatre Challenge. Make sure you join us. Hi, beautiful ladies. If you want the chance to play my girlfriend or meet the other banjos live in theatre, then log on to High TV's Facebook page for more information. Or you can be my girlfriend and go onto the Facebook page, click on all my pictures, like, 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 like. Yeah. And everybody would going to go for that. They'd probably rather be my girlfriend. I don't think they would. No, I don't think people would. I don't think okay, they would. Okay, let's just talk. I mean, it's all down for the Kevin C, you know what I'm saying? Let's because it's the place to be. So anyone out there can be live on this stage with the whole cast, whole crew, everything. Yes, that's right. Hi, my name's Andrea and I play Shade at the Banjo and Meet the At the Banjos. For a chance to play My Best Friend and the live theatre performance, go on the High TV Facebook page and apply. 13th and 14th of July, we'll be live in production at the Broadway Theatre. Come and join us. It's going to be fab. I mean, all I can say is, look, if you waste time and don't get your tickets on time, hey, I can't be held responsible. Do you know what I mean? No, like, Deborah, you know, you, know, you get them last, last minute. Calls. Yo, Deborah, are there any more tickets? Ah, oh, they're not all. So <laughs> you need to book on time, you know, to avoid disappointment. Definitely. Don't wait the, the day before, not even the week before. Get it now. No messing about. Straight up and down, left, right. Go. Right, right. So I must say, talk, since we're talking about now, I've got some work to do because we're going to plan all the stuff for the stage. You can't see it now. Right. As you can see, you've got the safety curtain because we're hiding it away. We're doing like, you know, some, some, some magic at okay. the back. So, Remo, you're going to have to, you um, know. Oh, all right. <laughs> I'll leave you to it. Well, this has been Romel London with the lovely Deborah, producer. Oh, gosh, am I going to get down? Okay, yeah, you, please. I'll give you a leg down. Oh, God. Oh, Lord help me, please. <laughs>
Well, I guess it's my time to go. That was the lovely Deborah, producer extraordinaire. But I think it's time we find out what the public think of Meet the Adabanjos live. Hello, Meet the Other Banjos is coming to the Broadway Theatre on the 13th and 14th of July. Are you going to be there? Man, I'm going to be there. I'm going to bring... I've already got my tickets, guys. So, like, you bet you can't miss it. It's going to be a big show. You better calm down, bring your friends, family and everyone. Like, it's just... I can't, I'm excited, man. I'm really excited. I like you. I'm You're excited. good. Like, listen, I've got my tickets already. So, you guys just calm down and watch the show. I can't wait. Hello, Meet the Other Banjos is coming to the Catford Broadway Theatre on the 13th of August. <laughs> I'm glad you're excited. I am. Oh my god, I can't believe that they banjos. Woo! I'm glad you're excited. Are you gonna tell all your friends and family and get some tickets? I've already got tickets. What? I love it. Yeah. So you're gonna pass it on and get more people to come? Yeah, definitely. Everyone needs to come and see them. They're so funny. Don't jealous me anyone, okay? <laughs> yeah. I love it. I'm glad you're excited. You're making me excited. I'm really excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. Yeah, we're excited. <laughs> Thank you. Meet the Other Banjos is coming to this theatre, Catford Broadway Theatre, 14th, 30th or 14th. What do you think of it being live? Yeah, I think it's great because uh, we watch it on, on the telly, but <laughs> if it's live now, something very Even good better. is better there. Yeah. Nice. Now, do you have a favourite character? Yeah, I think I like the auntie. <laughs> I like the auntie too. <laughs> do you have an auntie like her? Sorry? Do you have an auntie like her? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> so, are you going to be there? Are you going to bring your lovely friend with you? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. I like to see that. Great, thank you for stopping and talking to me. Thank you. <laughs> Meet the Other Banjos is coming to the Broadway Theatre on the 13th and 14th. You've seen the flyer, you've heard about it. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> are you going to bring all your friends, family, the kids, the grown ups, the grannies? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Meet the Other Banjos is coming to the Catford Broadway Theatre, July 13th and 14th. We're going to have Nigerian culture right here in Catford. How do you feel about that? Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Can't wait to see it. Nice. Are you going to tell your friends and family? Bring the little ones as well? Yeah, I'll bring both my children along. Oh, that's... All my friends and family about it. That's great to hear. Let everyone know why they should come. Um, I think it's going to be a wonderful show. Never seen anything like it before, I've, I've been told, so I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. Are you looking forward to it? Your thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've heard about it. I know, it's, I know it's going to be a nice one. Yeah, yeah. And this is the first time such is happening in Catford. Nice. And a lot of people are going to come because I'm also telling my friends as well to turn up. Already? You've told them? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what we like to hear. Yeah. Why should everyone come? Yeah, because it's going to be a nice weather and uh, for the fact that they're having it in Catford. Yeah. Be proud. Yeah, I'm proud to be. <laughs> and I live in Catford as well. Yeah, okay. So Nigerian culture in Catford. Yeah, live on the right. We're going to be there. You know what I mean? <laughs> I yeah, respect, it. man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I think it's underexposed. It needs to be a little bit more exposed so people can go and see that. That's good to hear. Well, this is all about Nigerian culture. Are you happy to embrace the Nigerian culture? Yeah, I've been going there for like the last six months. Right. I've been National Theatre, I know quite a lot of theatres, you know, and I've been there like a few times, you know what I mean? And I, I think a lot of people enjoy it, they just need to go and like watch it before they can like... Tell them, tell them! Tell them, oh yeah, you need to go and watch that play because like, it's a good play, mate. What's making you excited? Um, because I've worked with some of the characters before, so I know the work they can bring, so it's quite exciting, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Are you going to get your, a ticket, get all your friends and family to come as well? Yeah, definitely, I'll support it. Ah, oh, thank you, we like that. We like to see the support out here in Catford. <laughs> thank you. Now, can you let them know that they need to be there? Yeah, please, everybody, come watch it. It's going to be really funny, and please bring your support, all your family and friends. Thank you. I'm going to tell my family and see if I can get a posse together to come down. That's what I like, a big group of everyone ready for laughter all night long. Can you let everyone know that they need to come down here? You need to come down here. <laughs> <laughs> now, Meet the Other Banjos is going to be at the Catford Broadway Theatre. First time ever Nigerian play. Are you excited? I am very, very warmed up to it, yes. Oh, that's nice to hear. Now, would you bring your family, your friends yes. to see this? Yes, I will. And I will recommend it to other families as well, yes. That's great. Now, what do you, what do you think of a Nigerian play being in the theatre for the first time? It is very unusual to have such <laughs> place, you know. Um, um, particularly this part of London, you know. I've seen one or two other places in uh, in uh, central London. Wally Show in Cast Play some time ago, about a year ago, at uh, the National Theatre. Uh, but nothing from any Nigerian has ever come this way at all. I've been here for 14 years in this town hall and uh, I've never seen anything like this at all before. So I recommend it. Yes. Thank you. Well, let everyone know why they should come. 
Well, come because uh, there's so much to gain, you know, it's culture, tradition, you know, quite a lot of African tradition, you know, you know, you'll get from this group. So I do recommend it. Uh, if you're a theater going person, come with your family or come with friends. And if you are not, come and experience it. It will be a good thing. Thank you very much. That was very well said. Thank you. This has been your all access area pass to meet the Adabanjos, the journey to theatre. I had a great day today. I met the public who are really excited, the producer, the whole Cutford Theatre group. And next time we're going to meet the cast and the Lucky High TV competition winner. He's going to be right here on stage. It's going to be crazy. I've been Romel London. This has been Meet the Adabanjos live in association with Eric Eyre. See you next time. You could win the chance to audition to star in the live theatre show of hit comedy series Meet the Adibanjos on Friday 13th and Saturday 14th July. Log on to facebook.com forward slash high TV UK to register your interest and you may be picked for an audition.